Hello everyone, now I will show you how to set up your ASUS router. And before I start, I would like to remind you that if my video helps you, please support my work. I send half of all donations to animal shelters. All the details are in the description below. The first step is to turn on the router. Take the power adapter. Plug one end of the power adapter into a wall outlet. Connect the other end to the router. Turn on the power by pressing the button. When it's powered on, a light will illuminate. It might take a few minutes for the router to fully power up. Next, plug the cable from your broadband provider or modem into the internet port. This port usually has a different color and labeled as WAN, and is typically a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks. Now you should reset the router to its factory settings. Hold down the reset button on the router for 10 seconds. Wait for the lights on the router to begin flashing. Occasionally, this button can be found inside the router casing to avoid accidental presses. Use a slim object to press it down. The router will reboot, resetting all the settings to their original factory defaults. Connect one end of the Ethernet cable that came with the router to an Ethernet port. Connect the other end to your computer or laptop's Ethernet port. Please wait a few minutes for connection. Awesome! Your router is now connected to your computer. Now you will need to set it up. Before we get started, I'll show you another way to connect the router in case you don't have an Ethernet cable or your computer doesn't have an Ethernet port. Simply plug in the router to the power adapter and connect the cable from your internet provider. This will turn on the Wi-Fi. If the router is new and hasn't been set up yet, the Wi-Fi network will be named after the router itself. Your router has a unique Wi-Fi network name and password printed on a label. Connect to it. Great, you've connected to the router. Now let's start setting it up. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. At the beginning, you will see a form with a login and password. Usually, it is admin and admin. If these credentials are wrong, then find label on your router. The credentials are often printed on the bottom of the device. If none of this works, it means that your router has already been configured and someone has changed the login and password. If you can't find out the login credentials, just reset the router to factory settings. And then log in to the router's personal cabinet using the standard credentials. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. I want to warn you right away that there are many firmware versions and they may differ slightly. But don't worry, you will succeed. Just watch the video and follow the instructions. First, select the language for the router settings. I will leave the English language. To start the setup process, click this button. On this page, you need to enter whether there are any additional settings from your internet provider. You can find this information in the contract with your internet provider. If it is, 
select yes, and enter the required information, but usually, there's no need to specify anything additional. So if you don't know what to choose, select no. Next, come up with a name and password for your Wi-Fi network. If you want to choose separate names and passwords for each router band, then check this box here. Save the settings by clicking this button. Now you need to come up with a new name and password for logging into the router's admin panel. Pay attention to the password requirements. To save the settings, click this button. On the next page, you can update the firmware if a new version is available. To update, click this button. The update process takes about three minutes. Please do not turn off the router during this time. After the update, click this button. Now wait a couple of minutes for the router settings to save. If you were connected to the router via the Wi-Fi network, reconnect to it using the new name and password. Then log back into the router's admin panel. To ensure that all router settings are saved correctly, you need to reboot the router. To do this, click this button. Wait a couple of minutes until the router fully turns on. If you were connected to the router via the Wi-Fi network, reconnect to it. Now check if the internet is working. Just Google something. If the internet still doesn't work, try cloning your MAC address. To do this, log back into the router's admin panel. Then go to the WAN section. And on this page, click the Mac clone button. Save the settings. And reboot the router again. After a couple of minutes, when the router fully turns on, check again if the internet is working. Just Google something. If internet still doesn't appear, contact your internet service provider. He will tell you what type of connection you have and what other settings you need to do. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I donate half of all donations to shelters. You can find more details in the description below.